Now we will learn the detailed protocols for every layer. So let's begin from the application layer. Actually, we have already known that the application layer provides the interface for application software, and they enable the software to transmit uh, some message to the internet or receive some message from the internet. And the message actually are encapsulated in the PTU. This, the PTU is the unit of the transmission, or we can call the PTU are the data transmitted in the network. For application layer data, actually they can be in different format or different message. So those are uh, several typical application layer protocols. Um, this number defines the port number, and this means uh, which transport layer this application layer protocol rely on. So for example, uh, if we want to access the uh, web, uh, web page, the files should be transmitted correctly. Uh, so we need to use a reliable data transfer transport layer protocol. So that is the TCP. But for some other kind of service, for example, if we uh, watch the online video, uh, it can allow several error to guarantee to make the transmission as fast as possible. So in that case, actually some UDP protocols are used as the transport layer protocol. So in application layer protocols, one typical protocol is this FTP, file transfer protocol. So FTP actually are used for the client to upload uh, files or download files from a remote FTP server. So we call this model the client server model. So in this structure, the server is an always on computer and this device provides a lot of functions. They can provide the access, the operation uh, for the remote client. And this client runs in the computers, which may not always on. It can sometimes on the line, sometimes offline, or switched off. And if a user want to transmit or upload or download some files from the server, the user need to use this uh, client to do that. Another common application layer protocol is called Telnet. Telnet is used for us to do the remote login here, and we want to control a device which uh, is located at another place, then we need this Telnet protocol. So for example, a lot of uh, network devices provide such a uh, function. Uh, if you, you config an uh, access point, uh, a router, or a firewall, a server, you can all use Telnet protocol to access these devices. So by using this Telnet protocols, we can remotely log in such server and to config on the server. So the command you input into the Telnet window actually can be seen as the command running on those real servers. Another common application layer protocol is HTTP. Actually, HTTP is a very widely used uh, application layer protocol. This is used for the web page browsing, right? So if you want to access a network uh, web page in, in the uh, www, then you need to use this HTTP protocol to uh, access this server. You must send a request to the server, uh, ask him that, okay, now I want to uh, access one page. And then the server, after receive this request, they will send a response. And in this response message, they will return the HTML file of this web page and also some other source files. For example, the uh, video or some figures uh, in this web page back to the client. 
then in this web browser by receiving these files you can check the web page okay so that is the http hypertext transfer protocol